Welcome back everyone. You might be in a situation where your photos and videos are taking up a ton of storage on your phone. In order for you to delete all of them standardly on iOS 13 and really on every single other version of iOS, you had to go and select it up here. Then you had to pretty much go and like select them like this or to drag and you know kind of go up here like this. Now if you have multiple photos, let's say thousands and thousands, this isn't even my main phone and it still takes me quite a bit of time to go up to the top. As you can see, eventually it'll get there, but the way to actually go about it and actually select all your photos and delete them pretty easily is pretty much utilizing the same thing we just did, but instead of dragging it up top, you just click the top right corner. So I'll go ahead and do it for you guys again. So I'll scroll on all the way to the bottom. It's going to take a second. You want to open up your photos app. If you're on iOS 13, you want to select all. You want to go into your photos thing right here and select all photos. This will make it so you don't have to go through your individual albums. Go that way. So once you're here, all you want to do is select the select button up there. You want to start selecting whichever ones you want. It doesn't really matter if you're trying to delete all of them. You're know, obviously going to click all. And then once you're start able to go in like dragging and dropping them, what you want to do is you want to tap like the top right corner. You see where your battery health is. If you're on an iPhone 7 or something like that, you can still tap the top right corner. You just want to tap that and it'll go ahead and automatically take you all the way to the top. So as you can see, I just selected a ton of photos, 792 photos with, within like a second. And before that, you know, when I was dragging it up top, I wasn't even done with all of them and I was still taking like a minute or two to go through. So at this point, all you want to do is you see that delete button right there. You just want to tap that delete button and I'll say delete 818 items. Now you want to click delete again if you're truly wanting to delete all of them and you want to make sure you back them up and all that, but you're not finished yet. They're not fully deleted from this phone. What you want to do there is you want to click the photos or albums little icon, the third icon from the bottom. You want to scroll all the way down and you'll see this little option called recently deleted. So once you see that, you want to go ahead and tap that and all those photos that you saw here earlier are going to be here. So I'll go ahead and delete one photo for you because I don't feel like deleting all of them. So I'll go ahead and delete these two photos. And for some reason, it's not letting me just delete them and put them in the recently deleted. But anyway, you will go ahead and see a button up here that'll say select. You want to go ahead and select all. Go through again and select all of them again. You can go and just do that same thing, top right corner, and click delete, and then you're pretty much set. Then they are fully deleted from this phone, but then they'll eventually be deleted by 40 days anyway. So that's really pretty much the process. That's how you go about doing it. Select all and go from there. If you guys have any other questions or if there's another way to do it, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.